Assalamu alaikum this is Dr. Hasna with Hasna's Nat Me and today we're discussing the face nerve supply. So when we talk about the facial nerve supply I just want you to remember there's always going to be a sensory supply it's chiefly done by the fifth cranial nerve known as the trigeminal nerve. It is also known as the V nerve all right because the roman numeral 5 is uh, in a V form right. Uh, the chief motor supply is derived from the seventh cranial nerve this is the facial nerve we've already discussed right. So what are what do you mean by uh, cranial nerve basically it means that uh, see we've always studied nerves that there have been branches of some other nerve they're coming from plexuses like from the spinal cord but this time in the head the nerves are coming from directly your brain that's why they're known as cranial nerves they're coming from the brain directly so that's why they're known and the brain gives only 12 nerves all right and these 12 nerve among them the fifth nerve is trigeminal and seventh is facial so you need to remember what are these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 12 nerves which you mostly study in the neuroanatomy so let's get started with the sensory supply trigeminal nerve the v nerve it it gives three branches these are the v1 v2 and v3 that are chiefly the cutaneous supply of the face and the other part of the face is at the angle of the jaw and the lower jaw is supplied by the branches of the cervical plexus all right but what's important today is we're discussing how the fifth trigeminal nerve is supplying the face so it has v1 branch v2 v3 this is known as the ophthalmic branch and it remains in the area of the eye area and remember a few pointers that i'm going to tell you so it becomes easy remember that ophthalmic's lower limit is the upper eyelid makes sense next let's talk about the v2 the v2 is known as a maxillary division and i want you to know the lower limit of the v2 is the upper lip all right and finally the mandibular v3 this is going to supply the below all right so now we're going to draw the face and we're going to draw the sensory supply i will give you a shortcut to draw this so draw face from the side done good what you're going to do is first draw a racket all right the racket coming from the nose and when this racket reaches the upper eyelid and i told you this is the lower limit of the ophthalmic nerve so go to that uh, upper eyelid and take that racket from there and complete your racket so we're done with this part once you've drawn that racket this is the supply of the v1 of the trigeminal nerve so what is uh, coming in this supply it is the upper eyelid the forehead so you're just going to describe what you're seeing you're seeing the nose the dorsum and the tip of the nose being supplied right so you're just going to describe it once you've drawn it next what you're going to do is give me a smile and how will you draw the smile i told you the lower limit should be the upper lip so i'm just going to do do a smile and join the line with the uh, v1 supply now we've drawn the area of supply of v2 and whatever you see the upper lip the cheek all of this is being supplied by basically just describe what you're seeing by the v2 division of the uh, trigeminal nerve and finally the rest of the area that you can see is supplied by the v3 but even if you have to draw it i'm going to recommend that you draw a foot foot has what a heel so you have to include the ear in this heel and take it back this is the supply of v3 the mandibular nerve so overall and below this is the supply coming from the cervical plexus in the form of greater auricular nerve at the angle of the jaw like anterior cutaneous nerves that's coming from the cervical plexus we're talking about the trigeminal nerve so in the v1 the branches will be uh, so called exactly as their uh, area of supply so here we've already talked about supra orbital obviously above the orbit so supra orbital is the first branch then we have the supra trochlear as we know over here lies your lacrimal gland so a uh, lacrimal nerve also the infratrochlear is also lying here and the external nasal nerve obviously because you're supplying the external part of the nose in the v2 we have only three branches most important branch of the v2 is the infraorbital nerve and why i say this is because uh, infraorbital nerve is used for infraorbital nerve blocks which is very important for dentists especially to know uh, infraorbital nerve blocks are to block the v2 division also in trigeminal neuralgia you use this next the v2 gives because it's the area of the cheek so it will give the zygomatic facial and the zygomatic temporal nerve these three branches uh, i hope you can remember them and finally three branches of the v3 are the since the auricle is involved in this so auricular and the temporal region is involved so auricular temporal nerve and then you have the uh, buccal nerve because this is area of chewing finally the chin area so mental nerve so these are the branches now let's talk about the motor supply of your face facial nerve is a chief nerve supply for facial muscles this is the facial nerve when it leaves the thylomastoid foramen which lies about here a uh, between the styloid process and mastoid after that it gives a posterior auricular nerve which goes and supplies the posterior muscles of the auricle 
and then once it leaves from here it goes into the parotid gland and in, within the parotid gland it divides into five branches which supply the face and these five branches you can literally put on your face your entire palm and these will be divided as so so you put your thumb pointing towards the temporal region you put your index finger uh, on the zygomatic bone middle finger pointing towards the upper lip put your middle finger pointing towards the lower lip and finally your final finger will naturally go towards pointing towards your neck these are the branches beginning from the temporal region obviously it will be the temporal nerve pointing towards the cheek name says it so it's zygomatic nerve pointing towards your upper lip is known as the buccal nerve pointing towards your lower lip is marginal mandibular because over here the margin of mandible has been reached since it's pointing towards the neck anything that has to do with your neck is the cervical so cervical branch of the facial nerve this is how distribution is done of the motor supply so uh the obviously the thumb will supply the muscles that are existing over here and uh, similarly all the fingers uh, according to where they're pointing they're going to supply the muscles over there and cervical branch will chiefly supply your platysma muscle so this is how your facial nerve is giving motor supply to your face. So I really hope the uh, nerve supply of the face has made sense to you. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn your post notifications on as I'm releasing the head and neck series. And until then, thank you so much for watching.